La Mas, Draga. La Mas Draga, a Mexican reality drag show, just announced their fifth season. So, if you're not like me, you probably don't want to spend more than 14 hours of your life just to watch season 4, so here's the summary of it. Little side note, I'm not going to go through the drama and things like that, I'm just gonna say who won and the theme of each chapter. So hey, the first chapter, we get introduced to the new 11 competitors, aka Las Feminosas, 11 drag queens and a drag king. We have Georgina, Electra Vandergeld, La Carrera, Paper Cut, My Rebel Mode, Iris XC, Sirena, Lexa Fox, Lupita Kush, La Morra Lisa, and Tiresias. But surprise, there's actually another contestant, Cipher, the first international contestant. She's from Chile. So now we have 12 feminosas. Lupita Kush wins the mini challenge, where everyone votes who they think shouldn't be competing. So she gets to decide where everyone sits in the dressing room. The theme of the chapter is La Más Folclórica. The feminosas looks must be inspired in a Mexican folkloric dance. The celebrity judge is Susana Zabaleta. Sirena wins the episode and she wins 5,000 pesos, as the rest of the feminosas that won a challenge would do later. Lupita Kush and La Carrera have to compete against each other to not get eliminated. But surprise, they don't, because we have two new competitors. Second chapter, they introduce the new competitors, Veracruz and Aurora Wonders. In the mini challenge, they have to pretend to host a show in a club, in pairs. They had 10 minutes to get their looks for the mini challenge ready. This is called Draga Instantanea. Cifer and Veracruz win. This gives them three extra points on the final score in the, in the later challenge. See Cifer's look? Remember it. It's going to come back later. This chapter is La Mas Pintada, so their looks are themed around Mexican muralism. The celebrity judge is Camila Soldi, and Cipher also wins this challenge, so 5,000 pesos to her. Aurora, Aurora Wonders and Georgiana have to fight to survive, so they lip sync to Mujer Latina by Thalia. Camila Soldi dislikes both, perf both performances, so she decides that the one that stays has to compete to save herself again in the next chapter, and that's Georgiana. Aurora leaves, only appearing in one chapter. And then we have chapter 3. Fortunately, we don't have any new competitors now. For the mini challenge, the feminosas get separated into two groups to recreate a famous Mexican morning show. Once again, we have a Draga Instantanea. One team does Mañana and the other Venga la Felicidad. One winner for each team, Lupita Kush and Vera. The challenge is la más revolucionaria, so their looks are inspired in the Mexican Revolution. Papercut wins and Georgina, La Carrera, and Tiresias lip sync to Prefiero Ser Su Amante by Maria Jose to not get eliminated. Guest judge Galilea Montijo eliminates La Carrera. Episode 4. There's not really a mini challenge in this episode. Instead, the designer of the winner's crown, Gustavo Elguera, who everyone in the fandom seems to hate. No, a ver, chiquita, no voy a, chiquita, no voy a a chiquita, tengo calcetines más viejos que tú. <laughs> Give them some jewelry for their looks. What is this challenge? La Mas Mezclilla, where they have to design their looks using denim. Get judged by Polo Morin. Electra Vandergeld wins, Lupita Kush and Sirena lip sync to Rico by Manelik. Sirena loses. Also, something to note, in this chapter, La Morraliza comes out as non-binary. So, fifth chapter. In the mini challenge, they create skits in a funeral about HIV. Once again, Las Feminosas work in two teams, one focusing on stigma and hate and the other on depression and anxiety. The, this second theme, composed by Cifer, Iris XC, Rebelmorg, Tiresias and Veracruz, wins. The challenge is La Más Cachuda, where their looks are inspired by Los Cachudos. Barbara del Regil is the celebrity judge, being the second most criticized celebrity judge on the season, being beaten by the one in the next chapter. In the runway, Georgiana speaks about her being HIV positive. 
Lexa Fox wins, and Papercut and Tiresias lip sync Echaro Paca by Sofia Reyes, Darrell, and Lalo Ebrat. Papercut loses. Paper shouldn't have lived! They just wanted to keep Tiresias for hers and Electra's plotline! They just want the drama! Like, like, I'm sorry! H how is this better than this? I don't understand. Sorry for that, I have very strong opinions about this chapter. Anyways, we're finally halfway there, so let's see who's still here. Lupita Kush, Georgiana, Lexa Fox, Electra Vandergeld, My Rebel Mode! Vera Cruz, Tiresias, Cipher, Iris XC, and La Morra Elisa. Episode 6, once again, no mini challenge. The challenge is la más famosa. Each feminosa impersonates a famous character and plays 99 Dragas Dijeron, a parody to 100 Mexicanos Dijeron. And here's probably the most criticized guest judge, Yuri, because of comments she has previously said. Anyways, both Georgiana and Veracruz win this episode. Lexa and Tiresias lip sync El Espejo by Yuri, and Tiresias loses. So, episode 7, again, no mean challenge. But they do make a mini musical where every feminosa plays an iconic telenovela character. La Más Rosa Mexicano, pretty self explanatory, their looks are based in Mexican pink. Regina Blandón is the guest judge and Electra Vandergeld wins. Morraliza and Lexa Fox lip sync to the worst version of Tusa the tropical version by Laura Leon. Regina Blandon is about to tell them who is going to get eliminated, and then 10 new competitors arrive, and everyone screams, and it's just chaos, and... Just kidding. No one lives, and we don't have any new competitor. So, we stay the same. Chapter 8! As you can imagine, no mini challenge. But each feminaza teams up with a female content creator, and they do the challenge La Más Chola. My Rebel Mode! Wins her first win with the help of Gaby Navarro, a YouTuber. Electra, Georgina, and Vera Cruz lip sync to Chuntaro Style by El Gran Silencio and Georgina and Vera Leaf. The guest judge in this episode is Capi Perez. Chapter 9. I'm sure I don't even have to say it, but still, no mini challenge. Each feminosa gets paired with a contestant of a previous season. Uh, except Lexa, who gets actually paired with Sirena because the drag queen that was originally going to appear couldn't go. Anyways, they had to perform to a new version of a Cricri -cri story. So obviously, this chapter is La Más Cricri, -cri, and Tatiana judges them. Cipher wins a second time. Electra and Lupita, with their teammates, actually lip sync to multiple Tatiana songs. El Patio de Mi Casa, No Me Quiero Bañar, and La Patita Lulu. Little fun fact, one of these songs, No Me Quiero Bañar, is actually muted because of copyright. Anyways, Lupita Kush gets eliminated. And episode 10, La Más Imperial. There's only six competitors left. They have to perform a waltz and a contemporary dance. The guest judge is Itati Cantoral. Cipher once again wins for a third time. Four competitors end up lip syncing. La Morraliza and Rebel Morg lip sync to Sodio by Dana Paola and Electra Vandergirl and Lexa Fox to En el Amor Hay Que Perdonar by Belinda. Lexa Fox and Morraliza left. So now it's time for the final. We have four finalists. Cipher, Electra Vandergeld, Iris XC, and My Rebel Mode! So I'm going to skip chapter 11, Dia de Muertas, as it's just a reunion of the competitors. So, the great finale. Each one of the finalists has, has to do a musical number with an original track. The runway look is about why they love Mexico. And the previously eliminated competitors also performed to a song, most of them to their original songs. 
In general, the looks are amazing, the songs are catchy, Irara by Iris Akise is iconic, and so is Yolo by Elektra Vandergeld, Inhezo by Rebel Morg made me cry a lot, and yes, I think listening to Washa by Cipher 22 times in less than a week is okay and totally healthy. Also, remember that I mentioned Cipher's alien look in Chapters 2 mini challenge? Well, I said it because this comes back as her backup dancers in Washa, her song on the final. So, who won? The answer is... My Rebel Mo!